Hi, sorry it's taken me a while to get this video done. It was supposed to take a week and it's actually ended up taking more like five or six weeks. Apologies for that, I've been ill, that's my excuse, and now I'm all better. So I'm back to talk to you about game audio and uh, specifically Prison Architect and even more specifically uh, what I did with the audio for part of the user interface. Um, in fact, let's look at it here. I'm talking about these buttons. Uh, that I'm hovering my mouse over here. Um, they're always present in the game and when I roll my mouse across them slowly you can hear the sounds of paper rustling. Uh, now I wonder if we should do something about the ones that are locked. Should you still hear them? Hmm, we'll come to that. Uh, but for now here you go. Now, why have I done this? Well, the game is called Prison Architect, um, and I wanted to set the atmosphere of um, an old-fashioned architect's office. And in my imagination, in my mind's eye, when I think about an old-fashioned architect's office, um, I imagine uh, tables and desks and uh, reams and reams of, of paper. Um, when I was a teenager, I had a, a, a temporary job um, working for the county planning office um, and they had these huge great big um, open plan offices like vast areas of, of desks and uh, people drawing things and doing stuff there, there, there were computers around but there weren't really that many anyway what I remember is the paper <laughs> so um, I thought I would put an aspect of that into here and the cool thing about this is I've made goodness knows how many um, tiny little uh, recordings of paper rustling, some of which you just heard, um, and the game basically reassembles these at random. So if I keep doing this, if you have a keen ear you probably will pick out the odd duplication, but unless you're listening for it, you can't really hear it. I mean I am listening for it and I still can't really hear it. The cool thing about this is I can go really fast. It actually sounds like somebody's scrambling about for a piece of paper, or I can go really slow. And it kind of reflects a calm, orderly, determined, mm, here's the piece of paper I want, and there it is. And when you click on it, then it takes you into another menu, and you get the similar thing. Okay, so far, so good. Now, there's nothing particularly remarkable about that. Uh, how apart from the fact it's setting an atmosphere um, but what is really cool about this is what happens to those sounds when the um, narrative in the game changes and we're going to look at that now what I'm about to show you is a prison I've designed to malfunction I've done this on purpose um, so that I can demonstrate what happens to the button sounds let's take a look what happened there very quickly was the paper sounds morphed into the sounds of jailer's keys. That's because there's all manner of nasties going on in this little prison. Now, when I click on one of these, that sound has changed as well. It's much more heavy, metallic, related to prison doors. And we have the sound of the jailer's keys. Now I have to sit and wait, eventually, when this calms down, so you can hear the transition. There it is. Did you hear that? It's basically transitioned back to the paper sounds. As have the button click sounds. Although there's a hint. If you listen carefully, <laughs> there is a hint of the uh, heavier sound still there and that's because the prison hasn't totally calmed down yet that's awesome <laughs> right anyway cut to the chase eventually it would go completely back to the paper sounds um, and the ordinary button click sounds so let's have a look at what's this all about you know why have I bothered to put this in the game 
So why have I bothered to do this with the user interface sounds? Actually make them change state, uh, actually make the sounds change depending on what's going on in the game? Well, it's actually very simple. The game's called Prison Architect. We've already reflected the architect aspect of the title, and now I wanted to reflect the prison aspect of the title. The idea that you've become a jailer, you've changed from being an architect that's been designing this prison and building it, seeing it being constructed, etc. Um, but things have gone wrong in your prison, and uh, actually now you know you're a jailer you're a prisoner and um, you need to realize that that needs to be reflected through the sound now I'm not suggesting that everybody would actually notice this change going on these changes going on in the sounds during gameplay um, and that's great I think that's fantastic if I don't consciously notice it and um, what I think is really cool is if the changes in these sounds are basically feeding um, little bits of information and when I say information I just mean they're kind of they're almost kind of like whispering in your in your ear you know the, the, the atmosphere the vibe has changed um, and look that's probably a result of your actions as the architect things have gone wrong so the sound design is basically reflecting hey you know something's changed something's happened whether you consciously notice it or not really doesn't matter what really matters is how you feel as a player um, and if the sound can influence that even on a very subtle level um, then I happen to think that's a really cool thing. Now, I did go one step further with this. Um, I don't know if any of you that have been playing the alpha have, have noticed this or not, um, but there's another aspect of the sound design that changes, and it's the tape measure sounds. And let's take a quick look at those now, because I appreciate I am waffling on rather a lot at the moment. I will try to waffle less. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So uh, here's the prison in full flow, as it were, and uh, I'm just going to draw out some areas on the ground. And what you're hearing is the sound of a metal tape measure opening and closing and measuring things out. And the further you zoom out, the more obvious the sound is kind of blends into the background as you zoom in. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens when um, uh, bad things happen in the prison again and see what happens to that sound. And as you can hear there, there's the sounds of nails scratching down the blackboard in the background. And the worse the situation in the prison, the more you hear it. But as the situation gets better, it changes back to the normal tape measure sounds. Although, not quite yet. The idea behind it is really that, um, you know, if you're, if you're still trying to uh, <laughs> carry on being an architect, at a time like this, um, it's not a good idea. Uh, the prison is unhappy, the prison is in pain, if you like, and um, the sound design kind of allows you to feel a little bit of, um, uh, metaphorically speaking, a little bit of the prison's pain. Because really what you should be doing is uh, other stuff to do with calming the situation down more strategic stuff to do with your guards, emergency services, etc. Um, I was rather hoping I'd be able to show you a transition back to normality, but as you can hear from the buttons. Oh, hang on. What have we got here? Ah, there we go. We're back to the tape measure sounds. No, oh, it's okay to be an architect. It's early, well, reasonably early days, um, with the uh, nail scratching down the blackboard. I'm still a bit undecided as to whether I could maybe come up with something a bit more subtle. Um, it is rather in your face, but then again, it's only supposed to happen um, infrequently. At the end of the day, you don't want a prison um, that's having lots and lots of bad things happening all the time. Um, so maybe it serves its purpose as it is. Watch this space um, and 
but uh, we'll see if we make any changes. The um, keen-eyed amongst you may have spotted that I was uh, um, delving into my development build for um, a couple of the, the uh, uh, screencasts there. Um, that's because I, there's a little bit of a bug in the Alpha 7 uh, with the tape measure sounds. They're not quite working as they should be, so um, uh, I had to blur out some areas of the screen uh, which relate to things which aren't yet publicly released, probably coming up in the next Alpha. Um, please don't ask me any questions about that until they've come out because I won't be able to answer them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I did have an extra uh, helping of waffling going on, but um, that's just me. Uh, I'll try and come up with something interesting to talk to you about soon, and I hopefully won't take as long to make the next video as I did with the last one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>